So hi guys, it's me Deepak and in this video, I'll be talking about how you can make a text classification model using TensorFlow and Keras. So we'll be start by importing TensorFlow as well as Keras and I'll be using uh, IMDB review dataset. So in the dataset, I'll be having 25,000 train and 25,000 testing datasets and I'll be using those datasets to predict whether the review is good or bad. So it will be either true or false. So either zero or one. So it's a binary output, you can say. You will see what I'm talking about later. So I'll having IMDB reviews, which will equal to keras.dataset.imdb. So if I load the dataset into train data, train label, test data and test label. So I have to load it from IMDB reviews now. I'll be keeping the word limit to 10,000. So not more than 10,000 words. And actually I have, uh, I had copied this code from TensorFlow. So I will try to have the link of the original source code in the description. So look for that. So I have train data, train label, test data, test label, IMDB reviews dot load data. And I'll be specifying the word length to be uh, 10,000. So, so far so good. If I run it, uh, it should download it. It may take, uh, it may take some time. So, okay, now uh, if I print the test data, uh, train data to see the length, like if I print train data, uh, I think I should have length train data to see the length. So, LEN, and if I print it, it's, uh, it says 25,000. So, it's distributed like 25,000 and 25,000 for training and testing. The data set is labeled so that tells us it's a form of a supervised learning and if i print train data zero like first first review uh, you can see it's in numbers it's encoded uh, so we cannot read it like this uh, there's a way that i'll show you so if i have like a so if i have like a dict equal imdb mdb reviews dot get word index so i'll be getting word index so i can have index for padding unknown unused you will see what i'm talking about so i'll having k k v plus three for i n for k and v in our imdb uh, for our uh, imdb reviews our dict sorry so here i have dict dot items so i'll be getting the items and from so I first download it. So download the data. So I have k v plus three for so why v plus three? So I have keys and values in dictionary. You have keys and values. So uh, those value will be incremented by three if uh, the for storing it in keys. Uh, those be padding, unknown, unused. Uh, just uh, follow along like padding. I have I have start. I have uh, unknown and then unused so that's why v plus three <clears throat> so the purpose of padding is uh, simple because i'll be padding the data set so that i can have a fixed length of fixed length of words of review because we are training the data set model and model should have a fixed length of data so i'll be having 256 but for now i'll be first uh, reversing the data set because right now words point to the encoded numbers i want the numbers point to the words so that's why i have a sort of like a reverse dictionary here so reverse dictionary dictionary values keys from keys and values so you can see like i am mean i'm reversing those things so if i have in dictionary of dot items i think uh Yep, items and if I run it, so nothing is wrong. So I'll be creating a function so that I can uh, reverse, I can decode, I should say, the values in the code. So I have like a return space, some and I have join dot uh, our reverse join dot reverse dictionary and and 
get i or a question mark question mark if uh, there is nothing i can have a question mark so that doesn't like break so that's why if i now print or if i try to decode it i think i should first um have a train data set so like let's see the zero one again so if i print it you can see it's in numbers if i try to decode it now so it's a reverse dictionary so at this time numbers points to the words so if i decode it from reverse data get i for, for i in text so if i send the numbers it will be decoded and you can see this film has so you can see that there are some these uh, values like unknown in some places and start in the first one so uh, you can see those things that we write in the start like dict pad dict start dict unknown and you you will see padding when when we are done with the padding sequence so let's see ks dot processing dot sequence dot path sequences and the purpose of this is sim uh, i told you earlier like we need to have fixed length of words in all the reviews we don't want like uh, one have 259 and one have 240 we don't want those things to happen so we'll be cutting the words that are more we'll be cutting the words in the reviews that have uh, above certain number and we'll be adding zeros to the number that have less than a specified number so here i'll be having padding equal post after the review is finished i'll have those paddings so maximum length is 256 as defined so that's why and if i will printing this thing so right as you can see the data set is in numbers so when i'm performing this function the numbers will have zeros so if i print a data set like a data train um let's first see the length it should be 256 so if i run it it's 256 if i write uh only the train data uh, set it should show me some zeros so if i have print uh decode reviews and if i write it train data zeros you can see padding in the end those paddings if you write the code like print train data zero you will see those things will actually be in the form of zeros and it doesn't affect the model and it doesn't uh, affect the prediction of model in any way so that's why we are adding zeros here so vocab size 10,000 so now let's create a model the model will have embedded embedded will help it to define uh, the words that are similar and the words that are distinct so it will be able to distinguish between good reviews and bad reviews while so having embedded and i have a bi-directional and then uh, let's see so i have model keras dot letter embedded as earlier so vocab size will be like uh, vocab size is 10,000 as specified here and if i copy paste it to save some time and now i need a bi-directional one so it should be a global average what is my average i'm just averaging the output that i'm getting from embedded embedded embedding function so that uh, i don't have a big data set so it will average the average the things that it found similar and give us an output and then i have a dense neural network so that one is simpler i am using a rectify uh, real u and an activation function for our next our, our uh, last uh, last dense layer which will just be having a one ne neuron that will give us either a zero or a one so so that's why while compiling i'll you be using uh so if you can see the summary here you can see here 16 16 16 and one so neurons i think in the form of 16 16 16 and one if i write the model or compile and i'll use the optimizer like adam optimizer and loss will be a binary cross, cross entropy cross entropy binary being zero one so and have a matrix being accuracy predicting our accuracy so 
ओके सो आई थिंक आई डिट अ स्पेलिंग मिस्टेक है सो नाउ आई थिंक आई शुड जस्ट प्रिंट रिजल्ट सो आई विल बी डूइंग अ पार्ट टू ऑफ दिस वेयर आई बी शोइंग यू द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द प्रोडिक्शन मॉडल एंड द आउटपुट एंड डिफरेंट थिंग्स सो फॉर दैट आई थिंक यू सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल so as you can see here x value and x train data will be like a uh, this x validation in x training so we have training data set we have validation data set and we have testing so uh, i'll be having for labels well, as well labels are necessary and there's one thing that labels are always numbers because it helps uh, using across the globe because some people don't know english some people don't know like different languages like Ch chinese or whatever so it's easy to have labels in the form of numbers so it can be used across the globe so that's why the labels are in numbers and if i now evaluate my function model and i have my training data and testing data and testing labels and okay mistake here so it should be test data and you can see the accuracy and accuracy and loss and i am just training it once so in the next part i'll be doing like plotting the graphs explaining how different the output is from the how from the predictions and i'll be actually making i'm making an application that will classify text when we draw it on a phone so If you want to learn how to build an application like that, uh, you should subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon, like the video, and if you have any questions, write it in the comment section. And thanks for watching.